video is about pure virtual function and abstract class. In my last video, I discussed about virtual functions and the concept of late binding and early binding. If you have any doubt regarding those, you can see below. I'll share the link of that video. So now let us see what is pure virtual function. Pure virtual function is a virtual function without any function body. This is the same example which I has used in the previous video. So you can consider that video if you have any doubt. Let me explain in short. Uh, we, we have two classes, class A and class B. Okay, in which class B is publicly inheriting class A. Class B is publicly inheriting class A and both class A and B have same named function that is void display. Okay, we have made the function in the parent class as virtual. Okay, so that this function can be overrided by the compiler during runtime. Okay, this is how virtual function helps in a later blade binding or runtime com runtime compilation, runtime execution. Okay, so now what are pure virtual function? Pure virtual function are the virtual function without a function body. This is a function. This is a function body. So without any function body, so I'll comment the whole body of the function and I'll equate it to zero and terminate it. This is how a pure virtual function is defined. Now let it let us execute, compile and run. There will be no error. You know there will there will be no error. Okay. Um and and the display function of class B, the child class is called. Okay. There is no error. It is all in fine. Now let us make a reference to a virtual function. How I make A and let A1 be the reference to a virtual function. Okay. It's all fine. Let me compile. What happens? See. It would generate it has generated some error. Let me copy this error and let you know what this error says. This just I'll copy it all. What this error says. See. It is saying that the error is in the main function and my god it is in the variable declaration it what is saying cannot declare variable a n to be of abstract type a it is saying that class a is of abstract type okay why why class a is of abstract type because see it is there class a is of abstract type because the virtual the following virtual functions are pure within a because a contain the following pure uh, virtual function as pure which function void a display okay that is class is a is containing a pure virtual function that's why a is abstract i'm not saying what this the error is saying what is saying what it is saying is class a contains a pure virtual function okay so class a is of type abstract and if class a is abstract a variable of abstract type cannot be declared what can be concluded if a class contain a pure virtual function here class a is containing a pure virtual function then that class is called an abstract class that is class A is an abstract class and an abstract class cannot have a reference because abstract class cannot have a reference it is shown in the error only I am not saying that it is there it is displayed in the error only that is what we conclude a abstract class cannot be instantiated instantiated means cannot be referred it cannot have a reference okay what is abstract class a class which contain a pure virtual function is an abstract class and an abstract class cannot be instantiated okay so i'll comment this uh, now suppose class b doesn't contain it is working well no i comment i commented this line it would be working well now what if class b doesn't contain a void function what happens let's execute compile see i'll the same type of error the same error is there for class b i'll read out the error 
cannot declare variable b to be of abstract type now it's saying that class b is abstract okay because the following virtual function are pure within b now it is saying that b also contain a pure virtual function this is void a display that means if a class which inherits so here what class b is inheriting class a if there is a class which inherits an abstract class and it is not implementing the pure virtual function then this then that class also becomes abstract class that means a is abstract b is inheriting a but b is not defining the pure abstract function so now in this case b also becomes an abstract class so b cannot be instantiated okay now suppose we have another class c class c okay which is publicly inheriting b but this c class but this c class is implementing that display function okay but this c is implementing this display function i'll just copy it and paste it paste it copy and paste copy it and paste it i'll remove them servitus Okay, well now it is in C. I'm in C. Yeah, capital. It will be visible for all of us. Should I comment it? Okay, now it is there. Class C is there. It is there. And what we would be doing? We would be making a reference of C. Okay, and passing it to. Now see what happens. Could not uh, see out does not name a type. Okay, actually here it should be comment line no. Okay. Now see no error is there. Now compile and run. The function in C is called. C can be referenced because C is implementing the pure virtual function. Okay, what happens when B inherited this? B has two types of display: one it of its own and another a pure virtual function from A. So it has become an abstract class. But when C inherited it, it has three functions of same name, but it is implementing that pure virtual functions. Okay, so when are these virtual functions used? You would be wondering. If it is not implemented, then when it is, where it is used, why it is used? It can be used in phase of, in case of interfaces. Suppose you are you are developing some um, software and presently you are, you don't know its functionality, so you can put it to the programmers so that the, they can program it later. But in the end, it has to be programmed. It has to be completed. So this is the use of virtual functions. You understand what it is? Virtual function is a function without a function body. Any class which contains a virtual function is an abstract class. Any class which inherits an abstract class must define that pure virtual function. If it doesn't define that pure virtual function, that class also, the child class also becomes an abstract class. Okay. So in the end, the pure virtual function has to be implemented in some class or the other class in order to use that class because without implementing the pure virtual function you cannot use another method of that class suppose if a has another method that is not virtual suppose it has a uh, void show void show okay it is this printing something void show So in this case, void show can be only used if you have an object of A, right? Else it could not be used, right? It could not be used. So it has to be overridden somewhere. You understood what I'm saying? The, it has this function has to be implemented at the end because if the virtual function, pure virtual function, is not implemented, 
no other function in that class can be used no other member function of the class can be used because for using a member function you has to create a reference you have to create a reference without creating a reference you cannot use that member function but you cannot create a reference if the function is pure virtual so that pure virtual function has to be implemented somewhere so okay thank you